What is up, guys? Welcome to episode number 11. This Michigan State Spartans. Dynasty Mode here in College Football 25. Week 12 against the Nebraska Cornhuskers. After this, we only have two more games to play against Minnesota and Maryland. I think I'm going to skip Minnesota and just play against Maryland. But yeah, here we go. Nearing the college football playoffs. Let's see if our Spartans can make it in. Spartans versus Cornhuskers. Week 12. Let's do it. Welcome to Memorial Stadium and the sea of red in the heartland of Lincoln, Nebraska. An uncommon place and home to an uncommon program with a championship pedigree. And boy, do we have a fun one ahead. Top 10 team, target on their back, going on their road and right into the snake pit. As we'll see the number two team in the country, the Michigan State Spartans taking on a fellow Big Ten foe, the Nebraska Cornhuskers. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, joined here in the booth, as always, by David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. Guys, let's tee this one up. the play fake on first down wants to throw fires to the big fella and he goes out of bounds after coming up with positive yardage there this crowd bringing the energy and noise early from the gun running back gets to give they bring him down and he's going to lose a yard on that one Right, how about this uh, offense? You, you think of this offense, you think of throwing the football and top 10 passing in all of college football, but the defense knew something, right? Like you could tell they were going to come out and run the football. They brought up the touchdown Spartans. Made the grab and finished the deal in the end zone. Well, this offense is top 10 in the country in points per game because they've got a lot of speed and they've got home run hitters. They score fast. They don't need 10 plays to go down the field. You saw it right there. They've recruited well. They've got playmakers. They are going to be a problem for defenses all year long. He'll try the right side. So runs like that that can really help your field position as they're up at the 35. Got eight on first down, now looking at a second and two. Keep it on the ground. Works his way to the 41, and that is plenty to give him a first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. The give on the inside. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. Going for it all. And the double coverage, and they made him pay. It's Looking downfield, it's Child. Unloads to the wideout. And that ball is picked off. Going the other way, and he's got room. And he's wrapped up after he sucked. To the air on first down. Fires to the middle. He makes a catch. He just brought some serious energy, making that huge play and getting it all the way down to the 23-yard line. Time winding down in the quarters. They come to the line. Looking to move it through the air. Caught over the middle. It's belly. And with that stop, we are headed toward the end of the first quarter. We've come to the end of the quarter, and Nebraska is on top. Guys, let's have a look at the stats as we've played one period. Now to see if these guys can get back in the game as we open the second quarter. The Spartans are in the red zone. 
booking the throw on second down. Let's it go to the end zone. And it's caught. Touchdown, Michigan State. Yeah, coming into the game, you look at the stats and you say top 10 offense in scoring. So they better be able to create what? Explosive plays. Another explosive plays. They've been doing it all year long. Those plays are backbreakers. Defenses just can't contain this offense. He's looking to throw it. Pulls it in. It's Belly. Touchdown, Sparty. Reeled it in and just made the house call. The offense did exactly what it's supposed to do with a start like that one. When you're set up with that field position, you're thinking touchdowns. You're not thinking field goals. It's exactly what the offense does. Takes advantage of great field position. Looking to throw, it's Childs. Pressure coming. And they picked up nine on first down. It'll bring up second and short. Really important for a ranked team going into a hostile environment like this one, not to give the underdog reason to believe. Yes, reason to believe, and don't give the fans reason to get jacked up and excited. Come out early, be in a business mode mindset. You gotta start fast. He felt the heat trying to get away, but down he goes. He'll lose a yard or two. Better find the earplugs. Here comes the noise. Backing this defense on third down. Takes a shot as he lets it go. He's got it at the 30. And they got the defense on that one, and they get it to the 29-yard line. Well, there's no mystery who they're throwing the football to, but defenses still can't find a way to cover this guy. And with that last catch, he now has over 1,500 receiving yards on the season. And the Spartans with the first and 10. He wants to throw. That ball came out a little late, and it was almost picked off. I think when you go through these progressions as a quarterback, you want to find the right guy to throw to, obviously. I just, I didn't think he was the right guy. I didn't think he was really that open. And yes, he sailed and he overthrew it, but I might have surveyed the middle of the field a little bit. Well, great job there by the defense because they weren't able to get him sacked right away, but you saw the coverage in the back end. No one for the quarterback to throw the football. Didn't get the Deep shot for the end zone. Give him six. Touchdown, Spartans. They'll throw it on first down. Buys a little tie. Grab near the marker. It's Johnson. And they'll finally catch up to him, but not before a big chunk of yardage is picked up. It's first down from the 11. He wants it all. And it's incomplete. He was looking to the end zone and trying to get six. He couldn't make the connection last time. Let's see if they throw it again. Looking to pass. It's Child. And the quarterback goes down at the 11-yard line. Just a great job defensively, making him go through his progressions, and he really didn't have time to do it. And that's exactly what you do in zone coverage. You drop in your spots. You read the quarterback's eyes. Make sure you take away that quick stuff. And a great job rushing the passer and getting the sack. There's a timeout on the field. Tight game here late in the first half to give it enough body. Trying to set the tone on the ground in the second half. Picks up a useful five-yard chunk after the 30-yard line. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. On the run. It's Carter. Dragged down after a pickup of five out to the 35. 
These are the types of plays where offenses impose their will. Third and short from the 45. He'll have enough to move the chains. It's first down at the 38. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. One back in the backfield, and they'll give it to him. They finally make the stop, but the big run is ready to move those sticks for the first down. The Spartans are moving quickly down the field. Give to the back. Fakes his man out. Coaches always harp about staying ahead of the chains, and when you can run with that type of efficiency on first down, man, you are doing just that. Six-yard pickup on first down leaves him with second and four. And he won't quite get there, but boy, after that pickup, just a few inches to go for the first, an array of possibilities here. They'll try to pick it up on the ground. Third down conversions are huge, and they've got one, and they're at the 35. They have declared their intentions on this drive, keeping it on the ground. It's first and 10 again. And he is showing it all and finding ways to pick up yards. He's down to the 28. They can really be aggressive after that last play at second and three. And the Spartans will move the sticks. This is a guy that can find you the hidden yardage. That play, he just pushes the pile to get that first down. It's now first and 10 from the 24-yard line. And he does a really nice job finding open space and making a good gain before the stop is made. The crowd getting behind this defense as they try to get a stop in the red zone. Headed to the end zone. He rumbles all the way down to the two-yard line. He gave a little bit of everything on that one. This offense trying to quiet the crowd on first and goal, and they are not cooperating. They'll try to pass their way in. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. There is nowhere to run and nowhere to hide in these situations. You know the physical ground game comes into play inside the five-yard line, and they match the intensity. Nice job. Everybody flying around to the football, making the tackle for a loss. Nice job by this defense. So loud, it's rattling your fillings on third and goal. And he was fortunate not to lose yardage on that play, able to wedge it back to the line of scrimmage. The offense didn't even glance to the sidelines. They'll stay out there and go just hammer it with this running back again, and he noses his way into the end zone. The handoff keep working on that clock. And a decent game there before the defense makes the stop. I know exactly what I have to do here. Defensively, we've got to get the stop. So we're playing run. We're selling out to run because we're thinking they're going to run the football. And we got three timeouts. Let's use them wisely. Let's use those timeouts, save as much clock as we can so our offense can have some time on the clock to do some damage when they get the football back. Under heavy pressure lets it fly. And he's got it inside the 15-yard line. He's brought down, but he's got him inside the 10. First and goal from the 8. You know, you just can't coach toughness in quarterbacks. This guy's been sacked multiple times in this one. And on that last play, he gets drilled again, but he delivers a strike. I'll tell you what, this, this guy's going to be in an ice bath after the game. Working that left side now. Several defenders there to get him on the ground. I love an offense that wants to stay aggressive. Even when you've got the lead late in a game like this, right, you still try to find your playmakers and get them the ball in space, and that is exactly what this offense is doing. That pass is incomplete, and they might be fortunate. It wasn't not free for a fumble. It'll be third down. These fans trying to be like a 12th man on defense and help them get a stop. He snares it in the end zone. Touchdown, Michigan State. They're going to open this drive with a pass. Catch in the middle. It's Belly. 
Defense uses a timeout quickly, trying to get that ball back and preserve time for their offense. I'll tell you, I love the play call on first down here. You're just trying to find an easy completion, and the shortest throw on the field for the quarterback is finding your biggest target, and that's the tight end. Nice job. The Spartans will keep this drive going. Timeout called there by the defense, desperate to get the ball back and save as much time as possible. On first and 10 from the 38. Right back to the well. Quick timeout called by the defense, stopping the clock to save as much time as possible for their offense. Didn't get much on first down, it's second and nine. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. Decibels rising as the crowd gets behind this defense on third down. Back to pass, it's Childs. Quickly complete. Dances away from one. And that corner came in hot despite knowing that he was giving up some size. And they're going to head out to line up for a field goal. That is no good. All right, guys, that should honestly do it. Let's just kneel the ball. The Michigan State Spartans have won another game. Nebraska somehow keeps knee. it close at the end. An absolute collapse Fire by us. Kept it close. But the Spartans have done it again. What a win. 42-37 to over Nebraska. Unbelievable. Is this the team of destiny? The underdogs are back. Nick Morris, three touchdowns, six catches, 195 receiving yards. Unreal game from him. I, I can't even put into words how proud I am of this team. Renearing the playoffs, it's crunch time, boys. This is it. This is what we play for. Worked like this. We've worked for this moment all season. This is it. We need to win basically the next two to be in. I, I don't know what's going to happen. I hope we don't lose against Minnesota. That would be absolutely gut-wrenching because they're, they are an awful team. So, I, I don't even know, man. Let's just see them next week.
All right, so we're here next week. Did we beat Minnesota? Please tell me. Are you kidding me, guys? Of course it's the like the worst team we lose to. I think we have Darius Cox coming in this game. That's good. Hopefully he can commit. We need this win. Let's check out the college football bracket, see if we're still in it. Boise versus Kansas, Miami, Penn State, Michigan State versus Ohio State, Texas and Texas A&M. Clemson, USC, UCF, and Georgia and Oregon get the buys. We need this win. If we win this game, we're in the playoffs. Dropped all the way down in the 10th seed. Yeah, Darius Cox is coming this week. Brady and Pryor. Can I schedule a visit? No, not for Brady. What about for, for Pryor? Come on. What? Absolute joke. We're too late in the season, I guess. Come on, boys. If we win this game, we're going... To the playoffs. Isaiah Edmonds, unreal. David Mangold, do you have any mental abilities? He has a gold. Oh my god, David Mangold's gonna be a legend. This is it. This is it. The last game of the regular season. We're gonna go all black for the blackout uniforms. Let's get this going. The Maryland Terrapins versus. The Michigan State Spartans. If we win this game, we are going to the college football playoffs in our second year in this dynasty mode. This would be unreal. Here it is. The Terrapins versus the Spartans. Last week of the regular season. Here we go. Game starts now. Spartans, Terrapins, let's go, boys. Come on. As we'll see a squad from the Big Ten, the Maryland Terrapins, taking on the 10th ranked team in the land, the Michigan State Spartans. For EA Sports College Football, Reese Davis with you alongside David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. Time to get this game started. Coming out on first down with the play fake. Just missed his man, gave him just a little too much. For a quarterback, those mechanics need to be second nature, but sometimes uh, they can get a little rushed. Yeah, and we've, we've seen that. We've had spin sessions on the field with him four games with Jesse, and just gets on that back foot a lot and just can't stay consistent at all. It might be the hair drill, you know, weighing him down, but yeah, that back foot just starts to slide in there. Mechanics get bad, sloppy. Fires to the big fella. At the 40, there he goes. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. And the Spartans come to the line with a fresh set of downs. After the pickup of nine, it's second and one. Well, it's plays like that that'll help this offense stay in rhythm all game long. If you can have that kind of success on first down running the football, it just opens up your entire playbook moving forward. And there was no space, nowhere to go. That play went absolutely nowhere. Sometimes you just need a dude to show up and make a play, and he did. Sometimes you just need a block that dude, and they did They make the stop, but this passing game does some damage, and they move the sticks with the first down. The Spartans are flying down the field. He's going to pass. Unleashes one deep. And good coverage there to knock it away and deny the score. Couldn't make the play last time. Now it's second and ten from the 30. Leaves it with the back. They could have used a little bit more there. Pick up a three. It's third and seven. Oh, man, there's some big hitting going on in the trenches right now. This defense, they take a lot of pride in stopping the run. Let's keep our eye on them throughout. And this sophomore able to wreak some havoc and get the sack. It's wise not to be too greedy, and they'll go ahead and send out the field goal unit. And he missed it. No good.
Scanning the field, it's Childs. Quickly out to the tight end. Oh, the sweet juke gets him free. And they'll finally bring him down after he rips off a huge play. That's quite a start to a drive, and now they'll snap it from midfield. Feeling the heat as he lets it go. He makes a grab. And to the end zone. Touchdown, Smarty. This offense is so good. Man, they can hurt you in so many different ways, and they do it so quick, so explosive. They can put small drives together, big drives together. football with the run. Now after that run, they're in pretty good shape at the 30-yard line. That kind of pick up on first down, and you can take a shot here on second and short. The give to the back. Still running at the 40. And they drag him down, but not before he picks up the first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. They'll run it from the gun. And after the tackle, we are headed to the end of the first quarter. Time for one more snap before the end of the quarter. The offense will have to use its first timeout of the half. As they get set to snap it, time winding down here in the quarter. Been showing them the run, now they'll throw it. Pulls it in, it's Johnson. Really good surge for this offense. They move the chains and he's got it at the 34. It's been punch, counterpunch throughout the early part of this game as we take a look at the first quarter stats. They fought to a standstill in the first. Let's see who gets the edge early in the second. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. On the ground, it's Carter. They'll pick up four, second and six coming. And that's a really nice play. It's impressive. When it's first down, the defense thinks you might be running the football. You still can line up and get some movement at the point of attack and find a little crease for your own. Tough sliding there as he picks up one to the 29. Coming to the line, looking for that first down on third and short from the 29. Caught near the sticks. It's Carter. Makes the grab, and it's enough for the first down before he's dragged to the ground. And the Spartans are threatening in the red zone. From the gun, the give, looking for room. Pushing ahead, a tough run, picks up four, it's down to 15. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. The give to the single back. Trying to run it in in the red zone, he's got four and he's down at the 12. Boy, they love to move the sticks here and take a shot at it on first and goal. Bully ball on third and short. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. That linebacker saw the express lane right to the ball carry. And a great job by the defensive line getting some push, making them use their resources on him. Linebacker comes free, doing the making the backfield for a tackle for a the play fake on first down to throw got it in the middle it's mark and defense got gas but they finally get him to the turf at the 47 new set of downs after that completion from the gun running back on the move he's dropped behind the line of scrimmage that'll be a loss of three tried to pound it on first down now back to the line Back to throw, it's Childs. Got his man downfield. Finds a crease at the 20. Touchdown, Spartan! And once he found some daylight, it was time to make a house call. You know, oftentimes in college football, the best offenses are the ones that can create explosive plays just like you saw right there. They're top 10 in the nation in points per game because they don't have to drive the field. They've got dudes scattered all over this offense that can take it the distance on any given play.
to the ground with the bat. And a nine-yard gain on first down leaves him with second and short. You want to talk about making it easy for an offensive coordinator. You pick up a bunch of yards on first down, make that second down really, really manageable. That's a great job by the offense. The Spartans brought to the ground, but not before picking up the first. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Looking for a crease, it's Carter. And these defensive tackles just eat people. They swallow human beings when you get here. They're so big and so strong. And those guys, those running backs coming, they just need a mitt. They put one mitt on a running back, and he usually falls to the ground just because of their sheer mass and strength. We got a timeout here late in the first half, and they'll try to get more points on the board before the break. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. Can't make the connection on third down thanks to that tough, hard-nosed pass defense, and now it's fourth down. And the Spartans will call on their punt team. They'll have to punt for the first time this afternoon. He'll settle. Back to pass, it's Childs. And it's incomplete. If you're going to take a hit like that, you might as well hang on to the ball. After the misfire, it's second and ten. He's looking to throw. And this sophomore able to wreak some havoc and get the sack. How nice is it as a defense when you can drop seven guys in a coverage, only rush four, and still get home? That makes you feel good if you're the D coordinator. He wants to take the top off. Makes the catch on the left. The expressway is wide open. And he'll take it in and house it. Touchdown, Michigan State. From the gun, leaves it on the inside with the back. He'll be stopped at the 41, but give him 10 on that play. And a great job by the offensive line. If you're going to run the ball right at the middle, you better control the line of scrimmage. You can see the center, the guard, the tackles doing a good job getting on their guys just enough where this running back can get in the space and make the big game. And he found plenty of running room on that one before the defense was finally able to get him down. They're getting this guy lathered up. And a nice, solid pickup there before the defense wrestles him to the ground. Yeah, this coaching staff, they're getting this offensive line lathered up and into a rhythm now. They're letting them drive off the ball on first down on these running plays, and they're getting chunks of yardage. Nowhere to run on that when he loses four on the carry. Third down conversions are a huge stat, and this one would be a doozy if they can pull it off. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. The Spartans will send out the punt unit. This will be a second time they've had to kick it away. It'll go out of... On the set. Cricket. Trying to start the drive with a pass. And they can't make the connection, and it could get worse. A penalty flag on the field, oh, and it's in the holding zone. Let's get the call. Holding penalties, the ultimate drive killer. We'll see if it costs this offense here. Line gets set, first down. Gets it out fast. Gives him a little shake, and he's got some room. And he was loose and in the open field and on his way. A tremendous pickup on that one. As they get set to snap it, just about to reach the end of the quarter. To the air, it's Childs. He'll try to do it himself. A really nice run and gain, and he gets down to avoid taking punishment. That's the end of the quarter, and Michigan State has the lead. Let's take a quick look at the national rankings to see how this playoff race is shaping up. When you're dealing with a deficit like this, it's all about somebody stepping up to make a play, and you might as well start here in the fourth quarter. Use the play fake, now to throw. 
looking deep. This will be picked off, maybe just the turning point they needed. And they'll drag him down after a good return on the air. Looking to go up top on first down. Got it in the middle, it's Marsh. He puts him in business across the 50 into the 46-yard line. It'll be first down. Yeah, and he's been throwing it all over the yard, and he's now over 300 yards on the day. So it's been a successful day. Now, 300 yards, I don't know, Palmer, 300 nowadays, that's like what back in the day for you? I mean, that would have been 500. I would have won the Heisman, maybe. It's a big <laughs> deal today in college football, no doubt. Now, listen. He's in a rhythm right now. He's in a groove. We've seen good decision-making. He's been playing on time, and he's been deadly accurate throwing it. Guess what? This game is far from over. On third and long, try to convert through the air. Outside the pocket, let's it go. Here's an interception. Oh, did they need that turnover? And they capitalized not... They'll come out on this drive and let it rip. Coming after it. And the pressure will get there. The sack. Down he goes in the waiting moments. That could be a costly play. We've got a timeout on the field, and we are set up for a terrific. A first down sack can be a drive killer. Now it's second and 13. To the air, it's Child. And he can't get it off, taken down. What a huge play this late in the game. You make up the game plan and not a lot on the play sheet for this. Third and long from inside their own 20. Complete downfield. The defense gonna stop the clock with a timeout. They wanna make sure they have everybody on the same page. All right, guys, this is it. Two clock is on. 58 seconds left, fourth and three. If we don't complete this pass, we're not going to the playoffs. They're on the cross. Valley is there. Oh, my God, to the 50. We did it. Oh, my God. Come on, boys. Finish him off here. Get in field goal range. Win it with a field goal. Clock down to 25 seconds. Come on. Get it over. Felling is there first. Let's go, Jack. Come on, the senior getting it done. Let's go, boys. Come on. Two o'clock, we're turning it off. We need it here. 20 seconds to go. If we don't get a, if we, if we don't get points here, it's over, basically. The snap from Giles. Waiting, he sacked. Are you kidding? Ah, damn! 16 seconds, second and 16. I don't believe it anymore. Thrown over deep. He got it. Oh my God, he got it. Yeah. At the three with 10 seconds left. Time is running out. There's five seconds left. Wait, go over. Jack Fowler gets in. The Spartans are going to the playoffs. The Michigan State Spartans are going to the postseason. I just don't believe it. Two seconds left. They're going to have to go for the extra time. The fans are going nuts here in Michigan State. They have done it. That has to be it. That has to be it. I honestly can't believe it. Touchdown, or they just kneel and go to the Hail Mary and get it. I am going to throw my controller through a brick wall. He's going to take it out. Look out, mate. This one's going to the bowl season. The Michigan State Spartans are going to the college football playoffs through all the trials and tribulations. They've done it. 
the underdog, the Spartans are going to the playoffs. Aiden Childs, 413, 69.6 completion rate, four touchdowns thrown. I don't believe it with this team anymore. Do you believe in miracles? Unbelievable. I just, I have no words. This team has gone far beyond expectations. We are now a powerhouse school. I don't even believe it anymore. This is, this is the stuff of playoffs. storybook ending. Are we in the play? We have to be going in the playoffs. We have to just sim the next week. Come on. Oh, yeah, it's Darius Cox recruit. Come on. Did we get him? The four-star right tackle, Darius Cox, is coming to the Spartans. Prior, we are first on the three-star tight end. Pretty fast, too. And in the Big Ten Conference Championship, we will be taking on the Oregon Ducks. That'll be next time. So, see you guys next time. Peace out. See you later, guys. Before we actually do that, the bracket is basically set. SMU versus Texas A&M. Ohio State versus Kentucky. Michigan versus UCF. And Boise versus Michigan State. Whoever wins plays Oregon. Oregon, Georgia, Kansas State, and Clemson. All four of those teams get the buys. Come on, boys. It's now or never. Next week, Oregon versus Michigan State. That'll be next episode. I'll just give you one last look at the recruiting class. Brady and Pryor, we are first on. Unbelievable episode. We have done it. We are going to the college football playoffs.